Whatever complaint you have with us, alleged or otherwise, that is a young boy. That is not the way you do things. Hand him over. Get the hell off our land! If you ain't gonna be civilized about this... Well, come with me, then. You wanna head out there? Run with the man? And we're live. Welcome back to part 41 of the full game commentary. We are really busy tonight. There's a crisis at camp. Arthur has barely had time to recover from that Sean situation. We barely have time to say let's get started. So up now. <laughs> Everybody, just stay calm. Now is not the time to get hysterical. We're gonna find that boy. Let's get started. Relax. <laughs> Arthur. Have you seen that boy, Jack? No. Oh. Where's my goddamn son? Where is he? Where's my son? They took him, didn't they? They took my son. Who took him? We think the Braithwaite woman took him. Oh. Like Kieran saw a couple of fellows sound like Braithwaite boys. Where's my son? If anything, I... where is my son, Dutch Vandalin? We will find him, we will bring him back to you, and we will kill any fool that had the temerity to touch one hair on that boy's head. Abigail. You have my word. Just get me back, my son! Abigail is on the warpath, as she should be. Note that she tells Dutch to bring Jack back. She doesn't even look at John. That's gotta hurt. But to be fair, she hasn't been able to rely on John so far. I will get that boy back, so help me God. Right now! Dutch! We just heard about Jack. You need some extra guns? Yeah, why not? Micah, Kieran, anyone strange turns up, you kill him! Micah and Kieran stay behind to defend the camp. Also, presumably, they have less of a personal connection with Jack. Rest of you, let's ride! I like this mission for a number of reasons. One, we get to go out with everyone, including Hosea, who rarely leaves camp when you think about it. And two, it's the mission where John decides to step up as a father. To figure out what we was up to, Dutch. Yeah. We just got shot to hell by the Greys in town. I know. I heard about Sean, too. I don't want to even think about that right now. We have to focus on Jack. I swear, I'll kill everyone there. John also feels a little guilty for not looking out for Jack or somehow preventing all of this. Easy, John. Try to stay calm. I'm fine. How the hell did they get to him? I don't know, but we are getting him back and they will pay. I promise you that. What about the gold? Who gives a damn about the gold? They got Jack. I hate to break it to you, but I don't Count. think there is any gold. Or if there is, it's hidden somewhere no one knows. What? I've turned every stone. Christ's sake, Hosea. After all that, another perfect scam. This is also the start of the rift between Dutch, Arthur, and John. John before Arthur, he starts doubting the plan, the vision. At this point, Arthur is still in the middle, somewhere between John and Dutch. But John is mad, again, as well he should be. We underestimated them. No, they underestimated us. No, they underestimated us. Dutch cannot accept defeat and every part of his plan is going wrong after Blackwater. He's getting desperate and he's starting to make mistakes. Enough talk! There is no point arguing how we got here. This is where we are. And we are going to fix it! So come on! I like the music here. It's magnificent. Evocative of action and vengeance. Righteous vengeance. Okay. 
Okay, get your heads right. Nobody makes a move until I say so. Love this tree-lined driveway, and look at how the moon shines through the branches. Also, let's grab the Lancaster. Like they don't know we're coming. Come on, let's get this done. John, you sure you're okay? Like I said, I'm fine. Follow my lead. Both these redneck families think they can ruin us? I don't think so. There they are. Who steals a goddamn boy? I'm gonna let fly at those sons of bitches! Don, I need you to stay calm. I do like how Dutch takes charge. He's good at leading men, but you can't help feeling that he's improvising. He doesn't have a clear plan here, other than getting Jack back unharmed. Get down here now! You inbred trash! Easy, John. We've come for the boy. You must have known we would. Shouldn't have messed with our business now, should you? Whatever complaint you have with us, alleged or otherwise, that is a young boy. That is not the way you do things. Agreed, that is not the way you do things. Who steals a boy? How is that a good move, tactically? I suppose it's in response for shooting up the town and killing the sheriff, but all it does is escalate the conflict. Hand him over! Get the hell off our land! If you ain't gonna be civilized about this... Well, if you ain't gonna be civilized, I love that line, that implied threat. Let's find some cover and go to work. One of my favorite battles, because it's not about defending ourselves, it's about saving Jack. And that round went right through the eye. Serves him right for taking Jack. Now we go inside, but don't forget our hat. There is a gold shield on the mantle, and as far as I know, this is the only collectible in the house. I really like that patterned wallpaper too, but don't get too attached. Jack, can you hear me? Jack! Jack! Oh, shit! That would make a great thumbnail, but I don't think the algorithm would appreciate it as much as we do. Ah! 
More shooting. I forgot about the second wave. First we had an assault on the house, and now we have to defend the house. I like the symmetry. And the implication here is Jack is behind that door. I can't see a goddamn thing. Also note, John and Arthur working together. It's nice to see. One, two, three. But nope, fake out, no Jack, only more hostels. Very convenient how Dutch and Hosea finally break down the door on their side. <laughs> ah! No! No! Ah! No! Uh, ah! Uh, you want me to kill uh, you too, old woman? You bastards! Where's the boy? We have lived in this house for 120 years. We never had no problems except for Where Yankees. Where is the boy? Who took him? You killed Mus. I do like how defiant, unrepentant, and fearless Catherine Braithwaite is in this scene. Also crazy, but you know, she just lost everything. Oh, and I will surely kill the rest of them unless you start talking. Oh, I know your time. Common scum. Where is the boy? You filth. All right, we get her out of here. What about them? Now let's get this hag outside. Any more of her sons to deal with? No, I reckon they're all dead. That's right. Burn this dump to the ground. You boys sure Jack ain't in here. We searched everywhere, Dutch. Might as well help out with the burning. Arthur does love fire. You got that one, Arthur? I guess that's the end of the goddamn cribbage game. Come here! I never liked you. Why'd you take the boy, Mrs. Braithwaite? You stole Boys my Boys are off liquor. limits. You stole my horses. Ain't no rules in war, Mr. Matthew. It's important for Hosea to tell Catherine Braithwaite his real name. Unsure why. Again, I do believe they were doing more than just playing cribbage, but that's just speculation on my part. Yes, yes, that's it. <laughs> 
Where's the boy? My sons gave him to Angelo Bronte. So my guess is Saint Denis. Either there or on my boat to Italy. Let's go! Arthur, come on! What are we doing with her? Leave her! I told you she was crazy! And note, technically Dutch does not kill Catherine Braithwaite. She runs back into her house because, you know, she's lost everything and gone crazy. Let's move on. Cutscene, return to camp, roll into the next mission. It's gonna work out, John. It's gonna work out. Listen to Dutch. Now, I don't expect you to understand this, but I have never been more proud of you than I am right now, brother. You're doing the right thing. If I don't get that boy back safe, I'm... She... She'll kill us all. I know, but looking at this, logically, well, that boy is fine. They took him to scare us. Nobody takes a boy to harm him. He's right, John. What do you think, Arthur? My boy will be fine. But, well, of course Marston scared rotten. We, we killed all those people. We stirred up all that trouble. <laughs> for nothing. No. No. Not for nothing. For living. Not for nothing, for living. Dutch is talking about freedom defending their way of life. Not a great argument. He is trying to rationalize while also inspire. Now we get that boy back, and we go. Trust me. Hey Dutch, we got a problem. Not a problem. Visitors. A solution. Good day, fine people. Mr. Vanderland, Mr. Matthews, I presume. And who are you? Rip Van Winkle. And note, this is the introduction of Agent Milton and John Marston. He is not on their radar yet. And note how Agent Ross is introduced with a wave of the hand. If you have played Red Dead 1, you will understand how significant this moment is. And yes, in case you're wondering, a playthrough of Red Dead Redemption 1 is in the works. Huh. Good day, sir. Agent Milton, Pinkerton Detective Agency. Agent Ross. Ah, Mr. Morgan, nice to see you again. And to what do we owe the pleasure? Agent Moron? I don't know if you're aware, but this... this is a civilized land now. Also note how Dutch won't even look at Agent Milton here. We didn't kill all them savages only to allow the likes of you to act like human dignity and basic decency was outmoded or not yet invented. This thing? It's done. This place... ain't no such thing as civilized. It's man, so in love with greed, he has forgotten himself and found only appetites. And as a consequence, that lets you take what you please, kill whom you please, and hang the rest of us? Who made you the messiah to these lost souls you've led so horribly astray? I'm nothing but a seeker, Mr. Milton. You ain't much of anything more than a killer, Mr. Vanderlind. But I came to make a deal. It's time. You come with me, and I give the rest of you three days to run off, disappear, and go and live like human beings someplace else. You came for me? Risk life and limb in this den of lowlifes and murderers so that they might live and love? <sighs> Ain't that fine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to kill all these folk, Dutch. Just you. In that case, it'd be my honor to join you. Excuse me, friends. I have an appointment to keep with... Charles does love his sawed-off. And you do know Dutch has no intention of giving himself up. He's just making a point. And also committing Arthur and John to a path. And you know where that path will ultimately lead. I think your new friend should leave now, Dutch. You're making a big mistake, all of you. <laughs> yeah, dreadful. We have got something. Something to live and die for. How awful for us. Mr. Milton, stop following us. We'll be gone soon. I'm afraid I can't. And when I return, I'll be with 50 men. All of you will die. 
Run away from this place, you fools! Run! Come on. Get your damn hands off of me, boy. And of course, to hammer home the point that Agent Milton is an unsympathetic villain, he doesn't like being touched by Lenny. Because, you know, another theme the algorithm doesn't want me to discuss. What now? We get out of here. And quick. Any ideas? I know a big old house. Hidden in the swamps outside San Denis. I'm sure they'll find us eventually, but it should buy us a few days. A few days is all we need. There's a spot out by Shady Bell. Lenny and I got into that dispute with the previous occupiers. Place is well hidden. You and Arthur, ride out to make sure no one else has moved in. Lenny, you go follow those fools out of here. Make sure that they leave. And John, we'll get Jack back. And we'll get going. Rest of you, get packing! Come on, John. This is crazy. We'll get packed up, but we need a new spot, Arthur. Okay, let's go check out Shady Bell, and also have a horse riding conversation with John. This is a double mission. Let's stay on this train and see where it goes. It's gonna be alright, John. We should be going for Jack. We will. We have to move everyone first before that bastard Milton comes back with an army. We ain't no use to Jack in jail, or at the end of a rope. I don't even know what to think no more. Just gotta keep our cool. Be smart about this. Smart? Are you joking? We make too much noise once again. We drew them right to us. I mean, how many people we killed in the past few weeks? Far too many. It's Dutch playing his games. Hosea, too. Get involved with those two families. Master con men working their magic. They thought there was a lot of gold. Yeah, they thought there was money. Ain't there always. The dissension actually starts or is vocalized by John. Perhaps Arthur has thought of all of this, but he hasn't been able to discuss it with anyone. This is the moment where the rift begins, where Arthur starts considering a different path. Look, Marston, I don't know what to tell you. Things don't always work out. That ain't nothing new. Jack's gone. We lost Sean. Mac. Note, Braithwaite Manor is still smoldering. It's only the next day. We can only move on. But one day, we need to start learning from our mistakes. Come on, it ain't all bad. We've had a rocky run. We'll be okay. We'll get through it. <laughs> Dutch will fix it. Dutch will come up with a big plan. Right now, every plan gets us into worse trouble. We're getting further from where we're meant to be going. John is correct. Every plan so far has dug them deeper into the hole, while Dutch keeps scrambling to get them out, to get them ahead. Now you can't put all this on Dutch. You're worked up. Rightly so. Just don't get too far in your head with all this. You'll never get out. It's a goddamn mess. But in the end, at least for now, Arthur is still loyal to Dutch. He also wants to keep John focused on the mission. That poor kid. We chose this life. He didn't. I don't know. I think this life chose us. You, me, Dutch, Hosea. It's been a long time now. Your has. Lots changed. I sometimes wonder if things was ever the way we remembered them. If we were ever who we thought we was. All right. Should be just down this path to the left here. So, like you were saying before. Like I told you, don't go down a rabbit hole with this, Marston. That won't help nothing. I treated Jack bad. Abigail, too. I didn't want to believe he was mine. And this is the moment where John steps up, accepts his responsibilities, and begins to act like a father. It's nice to see. You know, when I was lost on that mountain after Blackwater, part of me thought... John's feeling guilty, he's feeling regrets. And he is thinking of someone other than himself. Well done, John. That's it up ahead. Four walls and a roof. We're moving up in the world. You ain't seen inside it yet. Come on. The sooner we get this done, the better. You sure this place is empty? 
I ain't sure nothing. All right. Let's use the pump action. We have to clear this out, but it's nothing like when Arthur was here last time with Lenny. Still some here. I can see that. You think there's more of them? I'll check the house. You keep watch out here. Really wanted to shoot this dynamite and blow up that Lemoyne Raider, but I guess Arthur had different plans. Any more of you upstairs? I'm coming for you! You hear me? Come at me. I dare you! Come out with your hand! It's up! You can still walk out of here! Where are you creeps, hot? Come out where I can shoot! And we will shoot this guy through the wall. This will be Abigail's room. Do you think Arthur's gonna mention that he killed someone in here right where she and Jack sleeps? Probably not. Last one in here. I knew you'd come soon enough. How's it looking up there? I think we're clear. And don't forget the gold nugget in the side table. There's time for looting. Let's go see what John wants. Here, give me a hand moving these bodies. Don't want the others walking into this. Follow me. All right, this way. We'll dump the bodies in the swamp over there. Okay, it's gator feeding time. I have never bought the camp boat in all my playthroughs. It's easy enough to steal one, and you know I like to make horses swim. But I will for this one, as soon as we get Jack back.
of my humble abode. We got fine living. You know the corpses and the alligators, it's paradise. I love it. And look at Kieran helping Molly out of the stagecoach he's fitting in. He's part of Camp Logistics now. Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, would you two kindly work your magic? Arthur, take a ride with me. Sure. Come on. Dutch? Yes? Could I have a word with you? <clears throat> Poor Molly, another Dutch mistake. Easy to see in retrospect. However, at this moment, the priorities are getting Jack back and keeping the gang safe. Personal and relationship issues are secondary. Can you believe that, girl? All I've got going on, and she wants to talk. Everything okay with you two? I got far more important things to worry about right now than Molly O'Shea. So, where are we going? To take a look at this eighth wonder of the civilized world, San Denis, I keep hearing about. According to the map, the road up this way should lead us right in there. All right. I guess this day ain't over yet. Not quite. Good work back there, Arthur. Everything went okay? A few loose ends. Nothing major. And John? About what you'd expect. He's taking it hard. We are going to get that boy back, whatever it takes. I need you to start asking around in the city for Bronte. Subtly, of course. Public places, maybe start with the saloons. Anyone who can put us in contact with him. Of course. What about the Pinkertons? I'm fairly sure nobody followed us. We moved out fast. We should be safe for a few days here. And then? I think we need to move a little further. Put some ocean between us and all of this. The mess with those two families. Losing Sean. I see things differently now. For a long time, I truly believed a paradise lay somewhere in the West for us. But I just don't know anymore. So we're leaving the country now? Maybe. I'm still thinking about it. Whatever we do, we'll need more money. Okay, there she is. A real city. The future. Note the pollution. Arthur hates that. And also the massive industrialization it implies. This is the future. Big cities. <sighs> Always repellent? Exactly. I'll find you in there. Go see what you can figure out. Yes. Okay, somehow we made it to Chapter 4. We have to get Jack back. We are not even going to return to Shady Bell until Jack comes home with us. I hope you enjoyed watching this commentary as much as I enjoyed making it. Arthur does have time to upgrade his horse. There may be something interesting in the San Denis stable. I'll see you next week. I'm Super Antonio. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your views. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell for daily Red Dead Redemption 2 content, and we shall meet again. Further on down the trail. You're okay, girl. Hey there, partner. Hello. Do we need more guns? You and I can handle this, Arthur.